So here's Noland. Um, he is the runt of the litter with the beautiful bold stripe. And you can already tell on his neck there is a little bit of a discoloration. And that's because we had an accident. I was so scared that I had killed him. <laughs> um, you can see his neck is pinched underneath. I'm not going to lift up the tub he's in. He's in two tubs right now. His actual tub and another tub. Because if I lift up the tub, I'm afraid he'll just crawl out on me. Um, but it's been uh, about a week since that accident. And... He is pinched underneath the neck. It looks more pinched underneath. Thankfully, right after that happened, he did actually, when I gave him fresh water, um, went straight for the water bowl. So that made me feel a little better. Um, so, I think he's doing okay. I didn't want to feed him right away when that accident happened. Because I was worried that maybe his insides were a little too damaged for that. Um, just give me a second. I'm going to get some food out I have prepared for him. <laughs> yeah, he's in a deli cup which had meat in it at one point. You can see the expiration date on that. Anyway, this is a bunch of meat I have here for him. And we're going to see if he's going to eat that. I don't know, he doesn't usually... Yeah, he's a little shy, and he usually eats on his own time. There's a hair in there. Let's get that hair out. You gonna bite that? Maybe? Oh, yeah, see, that's what he does. He gets jumpy like that, which is what happened last time. He totally freaked out and flew out of the tub, and then he was gone real quick, and then we had the accident. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the food in with him. And, uh, no, you're not going out. I'll go ahead and give him a clean out, and I'll give him this food. So that's Nolan. Um, we'll see if he eats his food in just a little bit. And don't even think about it. Apparently he just didn't like the tongs. The tongs were like a scary monster. So yeah, he's got that pretty good. And since it's all mushy insides of a pinky mouse, I have no problem with him swallowing that. Which I think that's what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of mush mushy insides of a mouse and feed him more this weekend when the other babies eat as well. But yeah, he took right to that without the tongs, so he just doesn't like tongs. They're scary. Looks like a giant bird mouth or something. Which may have been uh, what it looked like exactly. I don't know. He's never seen a bird, really, but definitely predatory. That's what it was to him. But he seems to be eating that really well. I don't know if he's got, like, a liver or what in the world he's eating, but the liver's supposed to be, like, what, the most nutritious part? So. And it's going to be a while yet before he gets up to one-day-old pinky mouse size to eat. He's still significantly smaller than the others, with Prometheus being the next smallest. Um, then... Uh, ch -ch 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 who's next? Um, Faye and then Demigod being the biggest. Uh, yeah. So he's got that down real well. Awesome. See if we can get up close of him. He may freak out, because... Oh, hi, Nolan. Can we come see you? No, we just want to go out, don't we? Yes, yeah, so we want to go out to explore. So, yeah, there's a little bowl of food right there. And he seems to be swallowing that really well. So, like I said, I'll just go ahead and smash up some more food for him. 
in the weekend time when everybody else eats. So he's doing pretty awesome. Which I'm so happy because I was terrified when he got squished. But that's little Noland. The little runt. <laughs>